Hello, people of the internet. My name is Willa, and today I welcome you to my new vlog. Insert cute music here, and so, I think I owe it to you all to let you know that it's very much easy to get away with it. Not to get caught, because for years people have been getting caught, and I really don't understand that. So, here are a few tips, guidelines, tricks, whatever you'd like to call them to get away with it. And what I am talking about is the unlawful premeditated killing of one human being by another human being. Yes, guys, I am talking murder. And today, I welcome you to Murder 101. Let's get started. This experience transforms you. It transformed me and it will transform you because, well, it just does. So, one morning you wake up and you decide today's the day I'm gonna do it. What do you need to do? Step one, people watch. You're gonna follow some people around, figure out the routines, get to know them. So then when you get to a moment, you realize them. They tickle my fancy. They are it, I connect with them. Now if you're having trouble, well, I have no idea where to start. Go to a mall, go to a park, people watch. Someone who is uh, single. Isn't married, doesn't have kids, not rich, because rich is not good. Someone who's divorced, and why do I say someone who is divorced? Because we all know who the suspect is at that moment. It is the person that they're divorced from. So there's a few ideas for people. Not someone who is bigger than you, not stronger, not faster, because obviously you want to get away. So you have a good idea of who you want to choose and when you have that you follow them you get to know their routine you go through their mail you go into their house or their apartment check for cameras always check for cameras and then if it is an apartment there are less doors and windows so how do you get in you get to know this person you're not a stranger you get to know them so that when you come knocking they answer the door hey how are you and they let you in they let you in, and there you go. So let's say you have the person. Well, how will you do it? Honestly, how will you do it? You're gonna walk down the aisle of a hardware store. Look to the left, you're gonna look to the right, it's overwhelming, you're going to find a tool that you can grip tightly. Something that you can hold for long periods of time and something that uh, you don't get tired with repeated use. I use a shovel because it is a mix of that one and done, make them suffer. It's also a tool that you can use to bury them. I do not suggest burying them. Instead, a healthy alternative, burning the body. I do not suggest burying because there's attachment issues and then it just, it does things to you, so burn the body. All right, back to tool. I use a shovel. You can use whatever you would like. Go to a hardware hardware store. Do not use a gun. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, people of the world, I do not understand why everyone thinks a gun is the, the simple solution. It is not because guns are loud. People hear them. Guns are loud. Guns are loud. They are traceable. Most people do not know that. Guns are very traceable. So no guns. You have the person, you have the weapon. Now all you need is the perfect knight. Hence night. I say night time because you've been following this person. You know their routine. You know that night time is going to be the perfect time, right? Maybe that 11 o'clock p.m. when they're getting ready to go to bed and you knock on the door and you're a friend that needs help. Okay, so night time. You have the person, you have the time, you have the day, you have the weapon. Now I did, did forget to mention that the distance, 30 to 50 miles, from where you live is where this event needs to happen. 30 to 50 miles from where you live, you. Again, then, burying the body, which I don't suggest doing, burning the body another 20 to 30 miles from that. You're looking at a round trip of about 100 miles, maybe 200 miles, depending on how ambitious, but keep the distance. So you have the weapon, you have the person, you have the time, you have the, you have it all. 
Cover your face. Do not make eye contact. Cover your face. No face, no trace. Do not make eye contact. Hair net, shoe covers, gloves. Wipe everything down. Bring a change of clothes. Burn the ones that you had on. All of it. You cannot leave a single trace of you behind. So, that's a lot of information. I am overwhelmed. I'm sure you're overwhelmed. Put any questions you have down in the comments below. Subscribe to my page because, well, I'll have some more videos for this and we'll alert you when they come out. So, one last thing, if you get the urge to do it again, which I am sure you will, make sure you wait 30 days. People get anxious, it does things to them. So wait 30 days, it's also less likely that you will get caught. So wait 30 days. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Have fun when you go out there and do it. Enjoy the moment, be in the moment. Thank you so much for watching make me proud. Willa is signing off.